In the latest aerial footage from Joe Tegmeyer at Tesla's Gigafactory Texas in Austin, hundreds of compact vehicle bodies are being assembled side by side. From their smaller structure and the way production lines are arranged, many analysts are convinced these could be Tesla's long-awaited Model 2 prototypes, the affordable electric vehicle expected to hit production in 2026. Meanwhile, across the country at Tesla's Fremont factory, similar test units have been seen moving through evaluation areas while the cyber cab continues its internal crash testing. Altogether, these developments suggest one thing. Tesla has quietly entered the pre-production phase of its next-generation platform, known as NextG Platform 1, or NGP1. This same foundation is believed to be the heart of Tesla's next big creation, the Tesla Model 2. So, what are the three revolutionary features we discovered about the 2026 Model 2? Could these changes really end China's stronghold over the global electric vehicle market? And more importantly, what do they mean for everyday drivers who want a real Tesla at a genuinely affordable price? Let's break it all down in today's video. You're watching Auto Intel, the channel that goes beyond headlines to bring you factual, data-driven Tesla news and analysis, not recycled rumors. If you enjoy straight, intelligent Tesla updates without unnecessary hype, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now, it's free, fast, and it keeps us powered up for independent research. Let's get Auto Intel to 12,121 subscribers together. Your one click makes a massive difference. Now, the first big reveal, the Next G platform. The question everyone's asking is this, how can Tesla possibly build a car 40% cheaper and 50% faster than a Model 3? During Tesla's 2025 second quarter earnings call, a few leaks emerged confirming what insiders had been whispering for months. The Model 2 will be built on Tesla's brand new Next G Platform 1. But this isn't just an updated version of existing architecture, it's a complete revolution in how a Tesla is constructed from the ground up. Instead of following a linear production line that moves one half finished car through dozens of stations, Tesla's new, unboxed process divides the Model 2 into five major sections the front casting, rear casting, battery floor structure, cabin interior, and the upper body shell. Each of these is built separately by dedicated clusters of robots and then brought together for final assembly, a process that reportedly takes less than 5 minutes, compared with almost 20 minutes on a Model 3 line. This parallel manufacturing method allows a single NGP-1 production line to produce a finished vehicle roughly every 37 seconds, nearly twice as fast as Tesla's current factories. That incredible speed is supported by Tesla's third-generation Giga casting system. Where the Model 3's body structure is composed of about 171 metal pieces welded together, the Model 2 uses just two enormous aluminum castings, one at the front and one at the rear, each weighing around 110 kilograms. Formed under pressures reaching up to 9,500 tons, these castings reduce total body weight by approximately 15% and increase structural strength by around 20%. This leaner design slashes labor time in the body shop by nearly a third and cuts the number of welding robots required per line from 300 to about 120. The supply chain also benefits from the same philosophy, total component variations have been reduced by almost half, and logistics routes are simplified. Tesla expects inbound shipping and handling costs to fall by roughly 30% as a result. With all these optimizations, each gigafactory using the Next-G setup could produce close to 2 million vehicles annually, effectively doubling the output of a Model 3 plant of similar size. From a financial perspective, the results are just as aggressive. The capital cost per annual vehicle output drops from around $3.5 billion for a Model 3 line to about $2 billion for one under NGP-1. Meanwhile, the operating cost per unit falls from $31,000 to just over $18,000, cutting the payback time for new factories from roughly three years to under two. These numbers are what make it possible for Tesla to price the Model 2 between $17,800 and $19,000, a figure that once sounded impossible for an American-made EV. For context, the BYD Seagull sells for around $10,500, and the Wooling Mini EV costs about $5,000, but those vehicles rely on cheaper labor and smaller frames. 
The key difference here is that Tesla can now compete directly with them, producing from North America or Mexico rather than depending on China. Now let's move to the second feature, the aluminum ion battery, or as insiders call it, the Allian cell. Can this new chemistry really end China's dominance in the EV battery supply chain? According to early lab results and leaked technical documents, Tesla's upcoming aluminum ion cells are targeting an energy density of around 300 watt hours per kilogram. That's a massive jump from the 180 to 200 watt hours per kilogram in the current lithium iron phosphate batteries used in the Model 3 and Model Y standard range versions. This roughly 60% increase in energy density means Tesla can deliver the same 300 mile range with a battery that's 30 to 35% smaller and lighter. In practice, that could remove nearly 180 kilograms from the Model 2's total weight, improving acceleration, handling, and efficiency all at once. But the real game changer is charging speed. Thanks to the high mobility of trivalent aluminum ions, L3, and the use of graphene composite anodes with conductivity exceeding 1 million siemens per meter, Tesla's latest prototypes have achieved 0 to 80% charge in under 8 minutes using a 350 kilowatt direct current charger. For comparison, the Model 3's lithium iron phosphate pack takes around 25 minutes to reach the same level. Thermal testing reveals minimal degradation even under extremely high charging rates, suggesting the Model 2 could reclaim 150 miles of range in about 5 minutes, faster than most gasoline refueling stops. Durability looks equally promising. Laboratory tests using Rocket Lab's equipment show over 12,000 full charge discharge cycles, equal to more than 1.8 million kilometers of real-world driving. That's around two and a half times the lifespan of current lithium iron phosphate cells and five times that of nickel-based batteries used in the Model S and Model X. Even after 10,000 cycles, these new cells retain around 91% of their capacity, with internal resistance growing by less than 2 milliohms, a record low figure for any EV battery. Thermal stability is another massive plus. Aluminum ion cells can safely operate from negative 30 degrees Celsius up to positive 90 degrees Celsius, far wider than the negative 10 to positive 55 degree range typical of lithium cells. This expanded tolerance means Tesla can eliminate bulky cooling systems and complicated heat pumps, saving around $400 to $600 per car and improving performance in both Canadian winters and Texan summers. On the cost side, aluminum and graphene are far more abundant than lithium or nickel, bringing down raw material costs per kilowatt hour by almost 30%. That could reduce pack level costs to about $58 per kilowatt hour, compared with around $80 today. If scaled successfully, this would bring the total battery cost for the Model 2 below $5,000, an unprecedented achievement in EV history. Production plans are already moving forward. Gigafactory Texas is expected to host the first pilot aluminum ion cell line by the third quarter of 2026, with an initial annual capacity of 15 gigawatt hours, enough for roughly 400,000 Model 2 units. Tesla insiders claim this could ramp up to 75 gigawatt hours by 2028, putting Tesla in direct competition with BYD's blade battery output. But perhaps the biggest impact of all is independence. China currently refines nearly 70% of the world's lithium, over 60% of its nickel sulfate, and more than 80% of graphite anode materials. By switching to aluminum ion chemistry, Tesla bypasses all of those choke points. Aluminum is the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust, and North America alone refines more than 4.5 million metric tons annually, giving Tesla a fully domestic and secure supply chain. Now, the third major update, Tesla's AI-driven cabin powered by Hardware 5 Autonomy. Can Tesla's next onboard brain outthink China's so-called smart EVs? For the first time ever, Tesla is equipping a mass-market car with its HW5 autopilot computer, a custom-designed silicon platform developed entirely in-house by the Dojo AI team. With processing power reaching 500 trillion operations per second, it doubles the performance of HW4 while using only about 60% of the energy. That puts it almost neck and neck with NVIDIA's upcoming Thor chip, which several Chinese automakers are planning to use. 
This means Tesla's smallest and most affordable car will run on one of the most powerful and efficient AI systems ever installed in a vehicle. But it's not just about raw computing power, the experience inside the Model 2 is designed around intelligent, driver-first interaction. The car will move away from Tesla's classic touchscreen-dominated setup toward a more voice-first and vision-aware environment. Using integrated eye tracking and facial recognition, the vehicle instantly identifies who's inside and automatically adjusts seat position, climate controls, and even the heads-up display layout to fit that driver's personal preferences. It's the first Tesla designed to feel personalized the moment you sit down. And the intelligence does not stop there. After about two weeks of regular driving, the onboard AI begins predicting user habits, like when you usually charge, your preferred routes, and even energy pricing trends in your area. It starts suggesting the most efficient charging times or routes that balance traffic, speed, and weather. Tesla engineers describe it as a proactive co-pilot, trained using lightweight neural models on the Dojo supercomputer. When it comes to autonomy, HW5 is built to run Tesla's Level 4 full self-driving software, which is currently being tested at the Fremont track. Early results show accuracy of around 99.2% in complex urban conditions such as unprotected left turns, pedestrian crossings, and multi-lane merges, a performance level no Chinese automaker has reached so far. Companies like BYD, NEO, and Xpeng still depend heavily on third-party systems like NVIDIA or Mobileye, while Tesla controls its entire AI stack, from hardware to data to software. That complete integration gives Tesla a lasting edge in the race toward full autonomy. The end result is a cabin that doesn't just recognize its driver, it anticipates their next move. It merges Tesla's self-driving intelligence with a layer of personal adaptability more often found in smartphones than cars. For drivers accustomed to static infotainment systems, the Model 2 will feel more like a smart assistant than a dashboard. So, that's everything we know so far about the 2026 Tesla Model 2, faster to build, cheaper to buy, and smarter than any car in its class. If Elon Musk can truly deliver on all three of these promises, this could be the vehicle that reshapes the entire electric car industry. But now it's your turn. Would you buy a $17,000 Tesla if it really launches in 2026? Drop Model 2 in the comments if you trade your current ride for it. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you never miss the next major update from Auto Intel. Your support keeps real, fact-based EV journalism alive. Music